When I was in college, I had a really unique college experience. I played two years of college basketball at a small little art school called Clark University. Uh, and then I blew up my knee my sophomore year. So I decided to transfer, and I transferred to the University of Miami. I joined a fraternity, and you know, it's a completely different school. So I basically said, hey, you know, what if we could basically just identify these college influencers, these college students who have so many followers and, and just so much influence online, and essentially have them organically do the talking for these brands. Um, once we confirm the .edu, the student then connects their social networks. So their Facebook, their Twitter, their Instagram, their YouTube, etc. And once connected, we pull all of this data and metrics from the APIs and put it into an algorithm that measures their social influence, which we call their SUMPTO score. And this number from 1 to 100 essentially makes them eligible for free stuff, which we call SUMPTO rewards. Just raise a really small amount of money from friends and family. Uh, enough to just build a basic MVP and beta website. I knew it was something I wanted to do. I knew that this was a huge problem that no one was addressing. Um, and I thought that I was the right guy to solve it. Uh, never really had the idea of, you know, just wanting to start my own company. I think it just kind of happened. You don't want to start a company just to say I started a company. You want to create a platform that's like serving a, a solution, right? One is you just gotta do it, and I know that's not great advice. This is one of my personal things. I think a lot of people look for answers and solutions to becoming an entrepreneur in books and magazines, and I don't think you're gonna find it there. If you're, if you're reading a book like that and you're looking for answers, then in theory, you're, you're following everyone else on this very wide path. You gotta form your own path, think your own way, because that's, that's how you're really gonna start a company and do something that's unique. Um, and the third thing is, I think, know what you know, know what you don't. So if there's something that you have a competitive edge over, whether it's your knowledge, whether it's your experience, whether it's your understanding, whatever it may be, for me, I think it's college, you know, use that, expose that. And I think it's better to be best at one thing than good at 10 things.